Okay, so let's be honest for a sec. I always figured hats were an optional accessory to have in your closet. Well, I'm clearly mistaken because my next guest with me in the studio is a designer for just that headwear. Here to tell us more about the headwear trend and how she got started designing this very niche brand is Danielle Mazin. How are you? Hi, nice to be here. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for being here. So why don't we first start with how you got involved in the fashion world? So I started from a young age. I actually left school at the age of 16 um, and I went to study fashion at the Fashion University London College of Fashion. For five years I studied clothing, um, women's wear and marketing. So you started out studying fashion, right? So how did that lead to designing headwear? Right, so um, my background was clothing um, and women's wear for right. many years. And then as a child, I would always try on my mom's hat, my grandmother's hat, any shop I went into, I would you know, put on the hats. Um, and then actually at the time of preparing my wedding in Israel, I decided I need to wear a hat for the synagogue. I'm from London and in London, you always go to synagogue or a special occasion with a hat, you dress up. Right, everybody in London dresses up. Like it's not like here where yeah. you'll go with jeans and a shirt, a white yeah, shirt. Like, exactly. They wear hats there. Yeah, you wear hats, you wear heels, you really accessorize well. Right. And you know, I said, I, you know, it's my time. And in London- It's my wedding. Yeah, it's my <laughs> wedding. And in London, you know, you would always wear a hat when you're married. And before that, you wouldn't wear a hat because then it hey, shows- Hey, I'm available. Like you need to yes, show that I'm here. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm now like preparing my wedding. I make myself my own hat. And everybody says, you know, I got a lot of compliments. Everybody said, why don't you do this as a business? And I said, no, like there's no market for it. There's no demand when Israel, it's not right. London. But you'd be surprised. Two and a half years later, I'm here. You're still here. There's a market for it in Israel and abroad and it's going great. It's mm -hmm. such a niche, you know, like brand this because you're not really you're not designing, you know, like baseball caps or hats or whatever. You're designing very specific uh, headwear. What would you say like what would you say your headwear is mainly used for? So the reason why um, people are coming to me is because they're looking for something specific, right. something for a special occasion, Exactly. whether it's a wedding, you know, the, their daughter's wedding, their son's bar mitzvah, they need something specific that you can't find in the stores and you can't find it, um, you know, easily. Right. So they come to me and we design together something that's very exclusive, very unique wow. to match their outfit. And it's something that they don't wear every day. So, you know, they're not so used to it. And in the beginning, they don't feel so comfortable because it's... So people understand me when I say that wearing hats are kind of you're taking a risk you're starting mm -hmm. an outfit off and you're accessorizing I read on it's your an exciting risk <laughs> it's an exciting risk if you do it right but the yeah. thing is that you're designing you know your hats aren't ones that you're gonna be really taking off it's part of your outfit when you're putting it on in the morning yeah I mean sometimes people wear it just for the whole part of a wedding right. or you know after synagogue they'll take it off but you know a lot of the time yeah the clients they're not so familiar with the product so in the beginning they're very overwhelmed right. and you know they think my products are very Kate Middleton or <laughs> Meghan Markle style very royal very, family type yeah very royal and it's a bit overwhelming but what I love the most is seeing that transition you know they really try on their hats and they really get a feel of it and they really start to feel good and for me that's the best thing you know once you put on a hat you automatically feel good let's put on a hat put on a hat go for it my dear doing this right yeah you did it oh, exactly girl get it yeah. that is what's up <laughs> You take a hat, this is called actually a fascinator, this kind of style, and okay. the style you're wearing. A fascinator is the term that is used for headwear. It's not a hat, it's not a headpiece, it's something that you wear for a special occasion. It's literally like a little addition, like, yeah. you know, like brooches and stuff like, like that, like you wear, this is so <laughs> cute, I love this. And this one is more specifically like a headband type, you know? That one's on a headband. It can be on a headband or an elastic, depending on how people like it to sit on their heads and right. to sit with their hair. Um, so we were talking about before how you were nervous to start it here in Israel because you weren't sure, you know, if people would accept it as much or if people were really understanding. So what are some obstacles that you faced, especially having this niche of a like brand, you know? For us, our biggest obstacle, to be honest, is the fabrics. Yeah? Yeah, our fabrics are expensive. We use very good quality fabrics and you just can't buy the fabrics in Israel. It doesn't exist. Headwear right. millinery is the right, term right. Um, that you just can't find in Israel. So we have to go abroad. So we get all our fabrics from England, Europe and the Philippines, especially in the summer. We use, you know, cinema, which is made from abaca tree. Um, and straw right. and you know these are very good quality fabrics. Breathing so that it's a little bit lighter. Yeah and it's good quality so you know to get it in Israel is very hard and um, for us that's our biggest challenge. Yeah. Okay and so where can people find it? You know where can people see your designs? Where can people contact you? So of course they can contact us through social media um, and then also we have a website it's an e-commerce website we ship worldwide. Yeah um, wow amazing. Yes of course all over we're in four countries we're in the states in Canada 
England and in France. Amazing. Um, and we also sell in three stores, uh, two in Jerusalem and one in Tel Aviv in D on Dizengoff, Raphael. Amazing. Um, and then also we have a showroom in Florentine. Great. So people can contact you. They can get, yes. you know, get to you, see your designs. Yeah. And amazing. I'm so excited for you. I can't wait to see where you're going to be in two years from now with this headwear. Thank you very much. Well, you heard it and saw it here first. If you're looking for the perfect addition to an already stylish outfit, make sure to check out Danielle's website and Instagram to find the perfect accessory, like this one.